Got something for me? Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here. Let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some more than others. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. <sighs> yeah? You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination, so I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. Ah, oh, because of my lack of foresight, all I ended up with was a shuttered division and a bunch of excuses. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority, but all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. <sighs> you have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just, I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. I can't. Not now. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree, I It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. As long as the drinking comes after the negotiation, or whatever this is going to entail. It'll be easy, I promise. 
I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Keeping me waiting. Hmm. New. Very well. Let me know. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? Nor I, nor I suspect anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? It is hard to argue, but the implications... I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you alright? Have you felt any... side effects? A cynical person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. But for now, we will just assume you have been very fortunate. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. Yes, you are right. And if we continue to work together, perhaps we can start to explain some of this. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about what is at work here. I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? No, I do not. But I find it hard to quantify. Many of the other members are polite, but... distant. I worry that my background and... my actions... concern them. I have not shared much, but... everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Of course, you have given me an opportunity the others have not. Perhaps I just need more time. I know this seems trivial, uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this, by a group I... I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? And yet here we are, working together. 
And that has, I think, gone very well. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. Indeed it was. And now I hope you can see why. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. here, which means one more way to potentially die. Let us have some fun, then. 